The following segment is sponsored by Oakview Medical Associates. If you're a senior citizen or your senior aged parents are nearby, you've probably thought about how you're supposed to keep them safe throughout the pandemic and how you can help. Dr. Nita Bajor from Oakview Medical Associates is with us this morning with that advice. Good morning, Dr. Nita. Morning, how are you? Great, it's good to see you. Um, we know that senior citizens are more susceptible to getting sick. So talk to us about the general risk factors that seniors are facing today. Great. Um, you know, we are still learning a lot about COVID-19. What we know now is we have about 6.6 .6 million cases, about 200,000 deaths in the U.S. And when we were about 5 million, the CDC did a lot of data. And from hard facts, what we know is, especially as we age, we're at higher risk because of a weakened immunity. Um, and just in general, seniors are more susceptible to cancer, COPD, coronary artery disease, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, and so, so forth. So we know the risk exists. Okay, and to get into that, you know, are seniors at greater risk of contracting COVID, or is it that they're at greater risk of having the health complications from it, or both? Uh, I think that's a tricky question. From what we know so far, I think, uh, like we see, the number of cases are definitely higher in the younger population, but because of a stronger immunity, they're able to fight the infection and recover. But the senior population is 65 and up, specifically 85 and up. I mean, they are just very, it's very difficult to recover. So the hospitals were, as you know, really inundated with a lot of elderly patients on ICUs, ventilators. And so it's really, I think all of us need to be mindful of the risk, but it's definitely a higher risk for our um, over 65. Great. Now, if, uh, if your kids are lucky enough to have grandparents nearby to visit or you're spending time with your own senior citizen parents, give us those tips. There's some things that we might not even be thinking of, but tips to keep in mind. Yeah, a few things we always, uh, you know, we do family medicine. So when we see the entire family, we're really thrilled to see the parents bring in their children or the grandparents to the visits. And what we say is during the pandemic, if you notice anyone, you know, especially our elderly at home, if they have a tem one temperature of 100 or even a couple of different 99 degrees, then uh, and also if their baseline temperature goes up two degrees Fahrenheit, those are little red flags that you must bring to your family physician's attention. Um, just being mindful in your home if you're working outside kids are now going to school daycare when you come back home always shower you know hand washing is a must uh, at least 20 seconds and uh, wearing a mask as much as possible you don't have to wear it inside the home of course but minimizing prolonged contact with uh, your grandparents in the home trying to spend time outdoors with them instead of indoors uh, socially distancing as much as possible not sharing utensils these are just things that you know make sense but I think if we just put it out there, people are more likely to follow. And th that is making a difference. What we're seeing is that the asymptomatic younger population may reduce their chances of spreading it to our elderly if they practice these safety measures. Those are great tips, Dr. Nita. Um, we know that too, some seniors have stopped their exercise routines due to the pandemic, but you happen to have a personal gym right inside your medical office to help keep them on track, right? Yeah, you know, I kind of, uh, I think, uh, proactively did this a few years ago when I got board certified in lifestyle medicine. I said, I must have a gym on site so that I can at least encourage our patients to utilize it and to lead that active lifestyle. And now, because of the pandemic, a lot of our uh, patients, especially over 65, have stopped going to the gym, you know, rightfully so, very scared to be around a lot of other people and contact surfaces. So we have a private gym, uh, personal trainers, one-on-one. -on -one. It's very clean, uh, you know, just minimal contact with others. And so that's allowed our patients to maintain their weight loss regimen, their activity, their mind, you know, just staying healthy, mind, body connection. So that's been wonderful for us. Absolutely. And, you know, you've mentioned that you treat every member of the family and you do a lot of things that are unique, not just the gym that you have. Talk to us about your practice. Give us the overview of what makes it special. You know, what I say is, my philosophy in healthcare is it needs to be the patient in the driver's seat and the physician team. Uh, we're a group of three providers, myself and two physician assistants. We're kind of your advisors, not financial mm -hmm. advisors, but health advisors. So we really take that role very seriously and it's a great responsibility. We want you to communicate with us. We're one of the few practices that actually uh, takes pride in picking up the phones if we can and answering our patients' calls and helping them when they need us. We're available by telemedicine, by our portal. Uh, so there are different avenues. And we just want our patients to know that we're there for them. We're there to 
help them understand their health, whether they're seeing multiple specialists or they're just following us. We have everything on site. We have x-ray, ultrasound, uh, we do procedures. So we try to keep it like a very strong medical home. At the same time, it's very personalized and we take time with our patients. So um, in fact, in the month of September, we have a um, special, what we're doing is we only have three more months before the new year. So we decided that any new patient that calls and schedules in the month of September, we'll give them a complimentary body composition analysis. What that is, is to check your excess body fat and then you have a roadmap to how you can lose that weight before the new year and have a plan next year. Get in contact with Dr. Nita Bajor. Oakview Medical Associates is located at 11 Five Forks Plaza Court in Simpsonville, the number 864-627-0444 on your screen. Dr. Nita, thanks so much for being here. Thank you, Margaret.